Hello students and parents. This is a short video to show you how to use Renaissance Home Connect to practice with MathX in a flash. All right, so you're gonna start off by connecting to the web address shown at the top. This is also linked on our team Minecrafters page if you want easy access to it, which I'll include in the, the comments. Uh, down below, you're going to need to put in your child's username and password that they use for AR. This is always going to be last name, underscore, first name, followed by the password, which is their lunch code. So let's go in and log in and see what the next page looks like. So Renaissance Home Connect actually has uh, quite a few different uh, features to it, which I won't go into now. I'm just going to show you how to get into the MathX in a flash. If you click the tab on the right that says Math, and then there's another tab inside there that says MathX in a flash, there is a link over to the right side where it says Practice My MathX, and it says Start Practicing. You click there. It's usually going to show you this window, basically telling you to turn off pop-up blocking. Um, if you don't have that, or if you, you know, you can change that at that time, but if you uh, don't have pop-up blocking, you're just going to click Start. From there, it jumps into uh, MathFX in a flash. It goes uh, very large on my screen here. I think it's designed to fill your tablet up or whatever you might be using, like your phone or something like that. And then from here, you can basically uh, select any level that the, the kids want to work on. You know, if you know they need to work on subtraction or multiplication or whatever the, the level is, they can go ahead and do that. All they have to do is click either practice or practice test. Practice test is going to have 40 problems that look just like a, a test that they do at school. Practice gives them 20 problems. And I think think it, it will sort of learn the problems that they're having difficulty with. I could be wrong on that, but I think that's the, the way it works. It also shows their progress that they've made so far. The student has passed Addition Review 1, Addition Review 2, and Subtraction Review 1. So if they wanted to practice Subtraction again, they could. So it's really as easy as that. It works on pretty much any device, uh, mobile or desktop. And uh, it's a good way to practice very similarly to how they're going to do it at school. I hope that's helpful to you. Thank you.